I love it when a plan comes together straight out of Narawa here. Here's Mario. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. How's your day been? Mine's been stupendous, marvelous, awesome. Plus a few other adjectives that I can't remember. It's been a great day. So, what's going on here? Well, for over a year or more, Aaron made our teas and coffees at the Readout Cafe at, um, at Wintech. That, that's our cafe. It's called the Readout Cafe. It's by the library. Yeah, I know. And he's a, quite a uh, quite a character. And so over that time, we got to learn that he was developing his own business. He'd, he'd opened other businesses before. He he'd ha actually had a cafe, uh, the Brown Sugar, I think it's the, or the Sugar Bowl, or the, yeah, the, the Sugar Bowl Cafe in, uh, over, uh, oh, in Myra Road, I think. And uh, he was involved in that. So he's quite a, a, an entrepreneur, I guess, in some ways. But he made our coffee for a year at the cafe and entertained us and all sorts of things. So we come to know what he was doing. And he told me, he told us that he was setting up this little cafe here in the, in the two shipping containers in front of the uh, Jump Flex, which is a trampoline factory. They, they well, make and sell trampolines you can see some trampolines over there on the um on the left of the on the right of the screen uh, kids can go there and jump on the trampolines now this particular road it's in arthur porter drive in hamilton and this is i drive past this location every day so he started talking about it and i worked out where the location is and then uh, little things started happening. There was a bit of a dig out and then some containers arrived and gradually over the last three or four months uh, he's built this little enterprise it came to fruition. And so today it was um, like there's no students and we had a meeting so I suggested to a few of my colleagues that we pop down and see see Aaron. I'd seen him there a couple of times but uh, he wasn't there today, but we tried out his establishment, and oh, I, I enjoyed it. It gave it the seal of approval. So um, I can't comment on the coffee because I don't drink coffee. It makes me too shaky. But um, I, the cup of tea was uh, superb. It was, uh, yeah, certainly uh, a cup of tea uh, to my uh, taste and liking, which apparently is um, somewhat... Uh, uh, somewhat um, different to everyone else's but anyway and some of my colleagues had tea well we all, all yeah and he's pretty good pretty good barista um so you would have good coffee and i had a cronut yes i know i'm i don't know my weight's staying under 80 which was my aim before easter i hope i don't bump it up over that um before easter and might muck up my challenge but i think i'm I think I'm on track and I've got a couple of days to wind it all back. So this is, um, yeah, we went, a few of the colleagues, we drove down there and uh, had a, a coffee and a bite to eat and then went back to work after our meeting. Um, well, we actually went back. It was the last uh, day before the Easter break. So um, we went back there and uh, had some um, hot cross buns, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and celebrating the Easter, so uh, yeah. It's, so this is a, this is the establishment here. It was great weather, and we sat outside on the tables there, and you can see uh, the, the group there. And uh, yeah, wonderful time. So well done, Aaron. Uh, it was good to get along and uh, see your see you know your your hopes and dreams come alive uh, well come to fruition and uh, yeah we enjoyed ourselves and uh, well pop along there give it a go um the counter there that he's got's pretty interesting it's a big block of concrete 
it's been poured. It looks like it's been poured in situ. So um, a lot of us um, were quite interested in the way that it, it, it has all been worked, done into a shipping container. So there's two, look like two 20-foot containers there. And uh, one of them's got the coffee and one of them's got a little place for you to sit. And he's got um, a, a hot plate in there and um, some um, all sorts of things. So, uh, yeah, that's um, today's uh, main talking point is Bagel's Baby. That's what it's called in Arthur Porter Drive, Hamilton. So, um, yeah, it's in an industrial area. So it's mostly open uh, during the week, I think, for the the people in the uh, in and around. Across the road from there is this huge, huge um, uh, early child care centre. Uh, I'll say huge because a lot of the uh, colleagues there um, commented on the, how big it is, and it is quite big, a uh, big place. And when you consider that, they have to have like a ratio on average of one to five, like one teacher for every five, it's probably a lot of people need a lot of coffee. So, um, yeah, we have talked about that. Um, yeah, all good. So, uh, yeah, well done. And uh, we'll report again. So the diary today, well, I, I got home and, um, yeah, I did a, a lot of little pottering around. Well, no, on the on the way home, I, I left work a little bit early, early-ish. Um, and I went into Mitre 10, just I needed a bit of a, I needed a bit of a Mitre 10 fix. I'd been to Bunnings the other day, so I went for a bit of a wander around and uh, had a look at a few things and decided on a few, and I bought a couple of hooks um, to go on the, um, to go in the bedroom to hang up my wife's robe. She doesn't know about that yet, she's in Australia, so she might watch this, I don't know, so I've put her her robe on a hook behind the door hopefully the hook's still there it's one of those um 3m brand uh, command adhesive ones that sort of uh, stick on there so uh yes we've got to got to keep an eye on the on that see how it goes so uh, yeah there and then i came home and started working on some lights for my um in view of my lighting thing and Moz's comment about did I have enough lights I sort of on reflection I thought about well perhaps I don't um, I can just see a little bit of shadow on this this arm here and I'll get rid of that so I'm working on some lights it's a bit of project I started quite a a few weeks ago and I've got one of them um, up and running I've got the other one to do so that's all good and there was a little surprise in the in the mailbox for me from um, far north Queensland, and uh, more about that to come. But um, I, I've looked at the postmark, and yeah, it's from far north Queensland. I wonder, I wonder who I, who that could be. Hmm. Anyway, will all will be revealed. It may take a little while because tomorrow is a big day. 730, 730 divided by 2 is 365, so that's two years, two consecutive years of vlogging, so I will now, every time I vlog, I'll be able to go back one year and two years from here on in, so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, well, <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. So, yes, a little parcel in the post. 6,771 steps. That's, um, yeah, quite a lot of steps there. So, um, yes, that was uh, all pretty good. And 728, yes, I've got a question coming up. Question coming up, yes. And where, what, who? Number 314 is a where. Hmm, it's a I saw a um, saw a thing on uh, YouTube actually about a particular person that came from uh, this uh, this country, and I thought, oh, oh I'll do my wear from there. So uh, yes, interesting, uh, interesting character. 
Uh, and so today, well, last night I did, did some marking and collated it and put it all together and sent it out to the students. So I'm very happy with that. Um, the trap, I've taken the trap down, put it away in the garage. So hopefully until we hear sounds in the roof again, no more trapping. And I've mentioned the lights. So yes, there's um, quite a plethora of things going on there. And, uh, well, we'll just have to see how it all goes. All right, so moving right along to today's challenge. What is Michael J. Fox's middle name? Is it John, James, Jeremy, or Andrew? If you know the answer, put it in the comments below the video. If you don't know the answer, have a guess. I did. I had a guess, and I was right. Is it John, James, Jeremy, or Andrew? Yes. Come on. Take a risk. Have a guess. Or, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, put it in the comments below the video. So yesterday's Hall of Fame. Who will it be? Moz42 was first one in with Augustus Gloop. And so he takes the prime spot on the Hall of Fame, but closely followed by Envious. Well done, guys. Yes, it was Augustus Gloop. Did I say Angus previously? Quite probably. Um, I'm not right all the time. I'm constantly reminded of that. So, well done, everyone. Thanks very much. Appreciate your liking and subscribing, your viewing and your commenting, and in general, your support of... Mario's daily vlog, and I, looking forward to mor tomorrow, two years continuous vlogging, and I'm looking forward to catching you again, so all good, cheers, see you. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation, it's recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, the capital of the Waikato a region towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. That little country at the bottom of the globe, the land of the long white cloud.